Welcome to another story time. I have another story from The Jungle Doctor by Paul White. Toto the monkey was visiting his relatives in the deep jungle. The trees were taller there, the leaves looked brighter, brighter and beautiful butterflies hovered over the water lilies. He arrived at an extremely tall tree and stared. He stopped at the bottom of the tree where there was a large notice board which read Equator. Twigger approached from the other side of the board and said, This is a very interesting place, monkey. The hippo added, uh, Yes, it's the middle of the world. Toto got excited. You mean the very middle? Yes, indeed, said Twigger. If you stay where you are in that tree, you're in the south of the world. But if you walk to the end of that branch, and jump across towards us, you'll be in the north of the world. You will have crossed the equator. But Toto scratched his head. This was a difficult thing for a monkey to understand. Toto had heard stories about the north, but he'd never been there. He imagined what it would be like in the north. He felt a little tingle running from the top of his head to the end of his long tail. His mind was spinning with excitement. All he had to do was jump, and he'd be there. Toto walked up and down the branch, talking to himself and thinking about how different it might feel over there in the north. Then, from the shadows, came a hissing sound and a soft, slippery voice. Don't believe them. They will tell you how different it's all going to be. But don't fall for that one. Stay where you are. You're much safer here. Twigger and Hippo were listening and becoming anxious. Toto's eyes started to stare and glaze over. Be careful, Toto, said Twigger. That is the voice of Snake. He knows you want to cross the equator, but he's trying to talk you out of it and spoil it for you. Don't take any notice of the cunning Snake. The North is the place of true happiness. Toto looked towards Twigger and Hippo, and he ran along the branch, shouting, I believe you, I'm going to the north. He ran as fast as he could. He leapt across the gap and landed safely on the opposite tree. He was now in the north. Hooray! There was no bump when he crossed the equator. He crouched in his new tree, quivering with excitement. He'd done it. He was now in the north. But then he looked round. He felt the same hot sun, the gentle breeze, the sound of the jungle. Had he really crossed over the line? Toto began to feel unsure if he had. Then that slippery snake voice came back. They were only joking. Come back down here. I know where you should should be on this side, you'll soon miss the thrills and excitement. Doing things you want to do and not being found out. You were far better off here. The enticing voice began to draw Toto down. Then Twigger, the giraffe, came closer to him and said firmly, Toto, use your eyes. You are now in the north, sitting in a tree. You might not feel any, any different, but geography is geography. 
Toto looked a bit doubtful, because his monkey mind was still spinning. He scampered along the branch and hung upside down by his tail, reading the notice over and over again. It said the same thing every time. Equator. He knew he was over. Yes, said Toto. It is so. I'm in the north. Whether I feel any different doesn't matter. The notice tells me where I am. You're right, said Trigger. Facts are facts. Whatever feelings may say. The hippo and the antelope both nodded. Hippo said, um, why don't we all keep heading north, then? He's right, you know, nodded Trigger. The further you go, the more you will know where you are and where you're heading, and the more you will feel sure of the way. Hippo joined in. Yes, I once heard an elephant say, the further you go, the better you know. Toto took their advice. And do you know, he was glad that he had. You know, when we trust in Jesus as our saviour, our bodies might feel the same. But we are different on the inside, in our hearts. It's like we have crossed over into heaven, from dark to light, from bad to good, to God's ways. We become a new child of God. Our naughty things are forgiven. We're going to heaven. Indeed, we've started to live in our own little bit of heaven. And we know it's true because God's words tell us so. And we can read it again and again. So don't go by your feelings. Facts are facts. Jesus taught us, anyone who hears my word and believes in God who sent me has eternal life. They will not be judged. They have crossed over from death to life. So, thank you all for listening. I'll see you again next time. Bye, and God bless.